What's up, it's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, I'm super pumped about today's video. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most common ways that you can really goof up on an underground service install, and this is one that can be done by amateurs, pros, or even DIYers. You may not be thinking a bit about it. You may not understand what's going on. Let's talk about it now. So this uh, panel here is designed to go. Let me see if I can pop up here. This panel here is actually designed where you can go up above or you can bring in an underground service. Okay. So one thing that can happen is when you get to doing your underground service, you're rocking and rolling. Everything's good. You go ahead and bring your wires right here and in the center or you bring them right over here to the side. You're like, oh man, it lines up on the house. Nice. Boom. You start knocking out holes. You set your service. You get ready to hook everything up. You slide your wires in between here. You go up to the meter. Everything's good. The electrical inspector comes and fails it. You're like, what's going on here? So let's talk about it now. Now, one thing that you may not know is, first off, you have to make sure that your meter disconnect combo is rated for underground. They're not all rated for underground. With that being said, this one here, and this is what you have to do if it is rated for underground. So there's a little channel right here that you must run the service conductors through. Now, typically, there's two screws that you have to take out. I've already removed them because it's kind of a bear. And then you still have to kind of wrestle this thing out. Okay? It's usually a wrestling match. But what this is, is this is a little channel. It's a little raceway. And that, this is going to be where you install your service conductor. So you're coming in. You're rocking and rolling. You have to design your whole outside service based off this one hole right here. Okay? And sometimes it can get tricky depending on what you're facing. But you must pop in these holes right here. You, you know, cleanly whip your conductors up and over, make your terminations, and then, you know, it takes a minute, but you get this back in there, and you install your two screws. Now, the number one thing that you can't forget is do not lose this piece. It has a tendency to grow legs and walk away. If you're a, a pro electrician, you've been in the game for a while, you can let us know if, one of, if you guys have ever lost one or ever seen one lost on a job. It happens all the time, or it can happen. Or you'd be out even doing a panel change and putting one in, and somehow it'll end up in the trash bucket or something but anyways long story short you can still use these holes but they must be used for the feeders so anything past the first point is either going to be a feeder or a branch circuit so once i get my service conductors in i can use this hole i can use this so i can use either one of these back holes to either pop in the house and feed the main panel or i can pop out and feed a branch circuit or pop out and feed my hvac or pop out and feed my garage so just wanted to talk to you guys about that you know it's happened to me before where i got in there rocking and rolling you know, set the panel, knock the hole out, and realize I didn't go through the channel and had to pull the whole thing apart and start all over. Especially when you're doing a panel change, it may not be something that you think about, or if you've never noticed that in the past, and you know, you're wanting to do underground, that's just a little tip and trick, and it's a very easy place that you could fail your inspection, potentially, you know, mess up your panel where you have to get some, you know, uh, Hoffman plugs, uh, you know, you look like an idiot in front of the inspector, and you may cost your, you know, company or job a day. I am the Electrical Code Coach. This is the Electricians in Action. Let's get to it. Hey, y'all, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell button so you can get all of our newest videos. I'm so thankful that I got to be a part of your journey today. Let's get to it.